With us, Arian Space CEO Stefan Israel. Thank you for being with us. Stefan. Thank you. So, what's the latest update on this VV16 launch? So, we have been working all day on the launch preparation and we have made a last check at the weather mm -hmm. conditions. Unfortunately, these weather conditions do not allow us to go for a launch tonight. What do you need to launch? You need to have the launcher ready, the launcher is fully ready, you need to have the satellites ready, they are ready, and you need to check the weather. Regarding the weather, you have two risks to avoid. A risk linked to lightning, and we are not in this situation tonight, and a risk linked to high altitude winds. And unfortunately, we have today the difficulty of high altitude winds. So we have decided to stop for tonight. And I just want to remind where do we come from. At the beginning of the story, we were supposed to launch this VV-16 mission in March. And then came the COVID. We have decided, and everyone can understand that, to stop the operations. And we decided to postpone the launch to June. All our teams have made a fantastic job to make it happen. We have really done all we could to launch as quick as possible. And this is why we are here tonight. But the weather is not with us because we are in a period of time in June where the high altitude winds are a bit challenging for a launch. So this is a situation. We take it into account. We have to be a little bit patient and we will launch as quick as possible. So do you have another date in mind for the next attempt? So based on uh, the monitoring of the weather and what we think will uh, happen in the coming days, uh, we think uh, we will not have uh, the uh, authorization to go because uh, this high altitude winds uh, seems to remain. So based on this analysis, we have decided uh, to uh, recharge the batteries of the launcher to give more potential to the launchers. We are going to monitor with our satellite customer whether we have to do the same for the satellite. So these are the operations we are going to to start next week. And once this operation will be done, then we will reschedule a launch slot. And also we will uh, for sure take into consideration the evolution of the weather. And activities are ongoing at the CSG as we speak. Yes, we have had a very good news yesterday. We have had the arrival of two satellites for our dear customer Intelsat, MEV2 and Galaxy 30. These satellites have been manufactured by our partner Northrop Grumman. So they just arrived in CSG. They will have as a co-passenger a Japanese satellite BSAT 4B for the operator BSAT. It means that we will have two campaigns in parallel, the Vega campaign, which is ongoing, and also the iron campaign, so we will be very busy in CSG in the coming days. And as you were saying, the situation remains very difficult in Guyana due to the coronavirus pandemic. Do you have a message you would like to get across? Yes, I would love to give a message to uh, the Guyanese population. I would like to say to our employees on the basis that we are really taking care of their health and we have organized with our partners uh, a new working condition which is totally safe for their health. And for sure, we are uh, monitoring what is happening to the whole population. We have seen that the epidemic has not already reached its peak. It will come uh, mid-July and uh, we hope that the situation will improve. It is very important for us. I often say that uh, the Guyana is the basis of all our successes. So we hope that uh, the health will come back for the whole population of uh, the French Guyana. Stéphane, thank you very much. That was Stéphane Israel, CEO of Arian Space. Thank you.